The first half of the All-Star break is behind us, and partner, it's go time in the second half. And if you want to be playing meaningful games at the end of September, you've got to put your head down and grind for the next eight weeks. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, first pitch coming up. And towing the slab here, Luis Castillo. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, right yeah, maybe you're not the a real high strikeout three. guy, but Young just guys. knowing you have the swing and miss yeah. stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. Right through there for a strike. Foul strike hands on for strike three. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. Lau at the plate. Next offering is foul back. One out, base is empty. This ball's chopped to the ground. Rowley whips it to first. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. Now a look at Kevin Cash's lineup for the Tampa Bay Rays. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Yandy Diaz. Yeah, Boogie's leading him in batting average and RBI, so delivering in a number of ways. And you know what? If he comes up with the bases empty, good chance of getting on base, set up his teammates. If he comes up with guys on, man, he could drive him in. Ball. Just a solid contributor for this Two lineup. One. Swing and a pop-up, really. Under it. He makes the grab, and that is that. Nothing doing for Tampa, so now the Mariners' offense gets to go to work for the first time. We've got no score. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back at T-Mobile Park, and on the hill in this one, Edwin Uceta. What do you have on him? Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him, and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. We go to the bottom of the first, and stepping in for the Mariners, Luke Rayleigh. Next offering is in for a strike. That went back up the middle and it gets through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. The pitch. Ground ball could be two. Fires to second for one. How about that double play? That is cool. Well, very fast to play right there. No margin for error. Nice double play on a fast runner up the line. And now Cal Raleigh. Two down, nobody on. There's a line drive to left field. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. The throw in. Thrown in is offline, so he'll get in there with a two-out double. He got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Now it's Randy or Rosarena. Go, 
Man at second. And a swing and a miss. Inning over. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the third baseman, Christopher Morell. Morell. And that one hit to first. That's a fair ball down the right field line. Around first and hustling for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Josh Lowe. Fly ball down the line. A Rosarena going back, but it slices just foul. Two-two down. Oh, just misses with that one. Really good take, oh, especially with two strikes. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it. Got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Johnny DeLuca next to hit for the Rays. Gets him to chase after that one. One, two. Pitch misses. Two and two. Really two nice ball. slider two right strike. there. Sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. Towards first, Rayleigh. Steps on first for the out. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. And now it's Jose Siri. Two outs with a runner at third. Out to short. Whips it to first on the run. And that is that. One left for Tampa. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. Go batter down. Jorge Polanco. The second baseman. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Hard hit to third. Sends it to first. That's one out the bottom of the second. That exists. The designated hitter. Mitch Hanniger. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. Hot shot to third. Over to Diaz. Out. And a couple of quick outs. Batting seven. The right fielder. And up next for Canzo. Seattle, Dominic Canzone. Two out spaces empty. Out towards right center field. Lau under it. And that is the third out of the inning. Mariners go down quietly there. We'll move to the third with no score. Back in Seattle, on to the third inning. And now here is number 55. In for a strike, one and two. Oh, there he 
takes the slider in on his hands and it just eats it up. Well, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. And stepping in for the Rays, Taylor Walls. No. Just missed. One down, base is empty. Ball. Three one. Late swing, foul to the left. Top of the third, no score. And he walked That's the ball. Him. Take your base. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Yandy Diaz now. Pitch. Down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Castillo looked to first. Hey. Walls back in on a dive. Walls, the base runner at first with one out. Definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. And now it's Brandon Lau. Castillo will look to first, and he dives back in safely. Two outs. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two gone, but the go ahead run is at first. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. No score. And we're back. Here's Josh Rojas. The third baseman. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. He seems to have lost a little bit of focus on executing that pitch right there, not staying through the target, and clearly not the release point. Runner at first with no outs here. Oh. Missed with a changeup. And the ball is three and one. Luke Rayleigh waits on deck. And there's oh. ball four. Now back. First Luke. back to the top of the Seattle order. Now Luke Rayleigh. Keep an eye on this at bat because even though it's early, it could change the outcome of this game. Look for your pitch and attack it. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Makes the grab. The center field, number 34. 
Julio Rodriguez. Now the number two hitter, Julio Rodriguez. The 1-1. One, one. Well, all oh. eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. That one is absolutely belted. And it one hops the wall. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate. It's two zip. Oh, that's a big at bat coming through in the clutch to drive in a pair. A red deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Now the Mariners catcher, Cal Raleigh. The 1 1. Rudder breaks for third. Pitch is low. Throw to third. Save. That wasn't close. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Fought off foul. Two two now. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. Pitch count continues to climb. And Chris, it is going to be hard for him to get deep into this game with the way this is trending. Kicks and deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. No he had him fooled. Randy, out of the radar. And here is Randy Arozarena. And the right hander deals. Way out front for strike two. There's some times where you have to pitch to contact to keep your pitch count down, allow yourself to get deep into the ball game, and that will help him to rack up some more W's. Rodriguez at third with two away. And this one squirts away from the catcher. Runner stays put at third. The 2-2. Two -two. That one out to right. DeLuca makes the play, and it's out number three. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now a 2-0 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back at T-Mobile Park, and now the DH, Junior Caminero. Junior Caminero. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Swings through that one for strike two. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, you see what kind of adjustments are being made. Got him looking. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Christopher Morell. This one blasted the other way, down the line, and it's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. There's a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes.
Ball and that's two. down and away. 2-2 two -two now. Ball. Just no. missed. Good spot there, but Ball didn't down. get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Two down, nobody on. On the ground to third. Zips it across. Rays retired in order. Offense held a check there. And midway in the fourth, it's the Mariners two, the Rays nothing. Jorge Polanco up next for the Mariners. The second baseman. Jorge Polanco. The wine in the pitch. Ball. And that's downstairs and outside. Well, these Mariners do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Ball. The next offering misses. Full count now. Full count. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count mm -hmm. might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Right through there, got him. One away. Oh, no, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball no, no, right there. And I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a call or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Curveball drops in there. One, two. That's down and in. And the 2-2. Stays alive. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a line drive slicing into right field. DeLuca makes the grab. Two down. Right Number eight. Eight. Yeah, eight. 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 Two outs. Base is empty. Now it's the right fielder. Dominic Panzone. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And here it comes. Fights that one away, still one and two. The pitch. Lined, and that's a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Good extension on that swing. He took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now, Josh Rojas. And a swing and a miss there. One ball, two strikes. down swinging for the strikeout couldn't catch up to the heater one hit one left we're headed to the fifth it's the Mariners two the Rays nothing ready now for the fifth inning now up for Tampa Bay Johnny DeLuca Johnny DeLuca And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. And that squirts through. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. In there. Just beat the tag. It's a double. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition, and he's got speed to put on a show. Here's
here's the center fielder Jose Siri. Swings yeah. through that one out in front that time. One ball. Two strikes. And it's second. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Righty delivers. That's a ball. 2-2. Two -two. Straighten him up a little bit. The Rays trailing by two. And we're at the top of the fifth. The 2-2 two -two now. And that's outside. And the pitch. The 3-2 oh, cool. is Perfect. off the outside edge, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. <laughs> and he reluctantly wow. takes wow. his walk. Wow. And now the catcher for the Rays. Left-hand batter waits. Ah. Right through there for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first-pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. No. And that just misses. Man, oh, man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Very oh, high with that one. And it's three and two. Taylor Walls up next for the Rays. DeLuca on second. Siri on at first with nobody out. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Payoff pitch, and that'll oh, load the bases. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Challenge the guy with the fastball. Bases loaded, nobody out. Now it's the shortstop, Taylor Walls. At the belt and fires. And a count one and two. I need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop up, something, but you've got to make some ball pitches. Two. But if he can battle and get two through ball. this, two he can earn some points. 2 2 now. Got him swinging. Just a mid 90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because he was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how'd I miss that? But you know what happens. Here's the Rays leadoff hitter, Yandi Diaz. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. And a pitch. Right. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Number 22 appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Saucedo, a left-hander, also throwing. Righty to the plate. That one the other way, and that's a fair ball. One runs in, now the second run is in. The batter has eight, second base, Brandon Wow. Brandon Lau, next to hit for the Rays. And that's in for a strike. Mm -hmm. 
Two on, one out. Popped up to the left, into foul ground, near the fence. And there's two down. No, that's a frustrating at bat right there. A big opportunity and just now missed it. I know he wanted to do some damage. Next guy will have to pick him up. Junior Caminero getting ready to hit. Two on, two outs. And fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, and that is that. And they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. 2-2 two -two game. Bottom of the inning. Now at the plate, Leonardo Rivas. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Next no, pitch is outside. Ball. Well, these Mariners finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely, it's a leadoff double in the fifth. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And the batter now, Luke Rayleigh. Comes up empty, One, that's two. strike two. One, two now. Swings and misses, struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Edwin Uceta will depart, and he's responsible for the runner on second, so the book isn't closed on him yet. We'll be right back. Ryan Pepio on the pitch out of the pen here. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Julio Rodriguez up next for the Mariners. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Here's a 2-2. Swing and a miss struck him out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him out on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Next to hit, Cal Raleigh. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Hard ground ball base now. Around third. He scores, and they have the lead. Three to two. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. 
the deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Two outs, runner on first. At the play, Randy or Rosarena. Ball. That one missed. Two balls, two strikes. One run across in the frame so far. Last half of inning number five. Got him looking for the K. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a 3-2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We're now back, and they make a change to start the six. Number the new pitcher, number 22. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. Now the third baseman, Christopher Morrell. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Fielder Josh Lowe. The M's up by a run, and we're the top half of the sixth. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. One Activity ball. in the bullpen. JT Shagwa getting loose out there. The one two. That one to first, and it goes just foul. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Rojas makes the play. That's out number two. Now a chance for Johnny DeLuca. Two down, nobody on. And there's a the ball. Jose Siri, next to bat for Tampa. There's a swing and a drive. Bounce takes it over the fence for an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next hitter to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. And now, Jose Siri. With the go-ahead run at the plate as the Rays try and punch back down a run. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. A lot of adrenaline. We can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Seattle bottom of the sixth inning and now it's the switch hitting second baseman Jorge Polanco well both sides equally as strong so not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate kicks and fires Hard swings three. and misses struck him out Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that. It's just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter. It just can eat you up, saw you off. I'll tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. That just misses. Three and one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Joel Kunell warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. 
3 oh, 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Right, the hitter did not offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. One gone runner at first. Dominic Canzone up next for the Mariners. The 1-1. One, one. Outside. Little chopper rolls foul. Back ah, foot three. slider struck him out. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two strike pitch right there. At worst case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Josh Rojas up next for the Mariners. Left-hand hitter waits. Up the middle, and that chance handled. Off-balance throw, in time. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Mariners leave one, but they're up three to two. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, J.T. Shagwa. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Well, one run game. Here's the catcher. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. One, two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Looking to get the tying run on base. Ah. That one 95 to finish him off. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter, so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Taylor Walls next to hit for the Rays. One down, base is empty. Now a fly ball to right center. Rodriguez heads towards it. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And yeah, there's two down. The first base is number two, Yandy. So the lineup flips Diaz. over. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. Ball and another three. ball. Brandon Lau up next. Holding on to a one run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. High fly ball out towards left field. A Rosarena going back. See you later. An absolute smash to left. His 11th of the year, it's 3-3. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and, and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. Base is empty with two away. Now it's the second baseman, Brandon Lau. Oh, no, he doesn't the get the call. Two and one. Two outs. And a foul ball. Comes a 2 2. 
Line drive. Come on. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. We're tied now with three apiece. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Kevin Kelly. He pitched yesterday, and we'll now, see him once again. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Leonardo Rivas. Here comes a pitch. On the ground to short. And he's safe at first. Some strange defense there. Ooh, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. The 2-1. And yeah, there's the strike. Your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Julio Rodriguez up next for the Mariners. Rodriguez. The 1-1. One, one. And another ball. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. Yep, Kelly keeping an eye on him. Turn it to play. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two out. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And stepping in for the Mariners, Cal Raleigh. Well, with pretty good speed over there at first base, I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down, hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. With the go-ahead run at first, here at the bottom of the seven. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. And downstairs. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And he deals. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Bows it back with two strikes. Three, two. Fights it off. You'll see another. Payoff pitch. The right two hander out. gives Go up the first. two out walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Oh, that could be a now big that. walk in this no ball way. game. It moves the go-ahead run ready. into scoring position. Oh, so oh, oh, oh. some right pressure down. pitches coming up in this next A-B. Rivas at second. Raleigh at first. Two out of the inning. And he grounds one to the right side. In plenty of time to first. And we stay tied as the inning ends. Mariners leave a couple, so no change in the score. It's 3-3.
Next off, he's in for a strike. That's down and in. Christopher Morell in the on-deck circle. plan of attack from the night. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Next to hit, Christopher Morell. That catches the top part of the zone. Two and two now. Down, base is empty. That one just misses all three. Okay. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire. And out there on the mound, maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. Back to work. 3-2 now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Side of that is ball four. Now back, left so out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Trent Thornton. Now well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. Now the left fielder, Josh Lowe. to strike. Runner on the go. Strike in there. Great oh, save. Pretty close play on that one. A perfect throw probably gets him. That throw was just a little wide to the third base side of the bag, so he had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Bows it off, still one and two. And another ball. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And that one is inside. Johnny DeLuca up next for the Rays. With the go-ahead run standing at second, and we're at the top of the eighth. In the air, out towards right center. Rodriguez settles under it, makes the grab, and there's two gone. The bat, the right hand, Johnny DeLuca. Johnny DeLuca next to hit for the Rays. And look oh, out as that one ran in and got him. Now the pressure is already high and now it's been cranked up to another now level. Now. And his head must be spinning out there on the mound. He's got to find a way to slow things down. That breathing technique, boo. Let everything out. And the righty deals. And oh. one and two. Two outs. One ball. Oh, the base two runners ball. at first and second. Wouldn't chance that time.
2 2 now to 22. Okay. Way high. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Number 55 waits on deck. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Two on, two outs. Good job to fight that one off. Three, two now. They miss a big chance to take the lead here late. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Tyler Alexander. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. So digging in, Jorge Polanco. Hardliner. And that gets down in the corner. Here's the throw. In safely with a leadoff double. Go ahead runs in scoring position. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there. So once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. And I'm riding on this next and bad now as they look to take the lead at a critical point in this one. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Mitch Hanniger will hit next. And now two and one. Swing and a miss as he was late. Moving in the bullpen, Manuel Rodriguez. Preparing to come on if needed. Poche, the lefty, warming up as well. And that one missing low. That's a really good take. Dominic Panzone hitting on deck circle. Go ahead run at second. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Bounce to the left side. Over to Diaz. And they take care of Hanniger for the out. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Pitch hitter coming on. Justin Turner. He gets a chance with a runner in scoring position in one goal. Right clips the corner. Polanco, the runner at second with one away. Ah, Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Big strikeout there as he works to strand that go ahead run at second base. But base job's not done yet. Got to get that last out before you can exhale and get back into the dugout. It's kind of tough to do with this home crowd applying so much pressure. Josh Rojas up next for the Mariners. The pitch. That two, one misses. Two. two balls, two strikes. Two down. Go ahead, run at scoring position. Oh. Next pitch is downstairs. Leonardo Rivas waiting for a turn at the plate. And on second, two down. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. 